Here's a riddle for you. How do you get a man who hates seafood to love eating fish? A is for Antep and Z is for Zing. Got 24 more that'll grow in between. They say the spice of life is variety. That's why we're growing so hard on the alphabet of heat. Phosphorus. Letter F. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Alphabet of Heat. My name is Boss. I'm a gardener and a lover of all things spicy. Today, we have made it all the way to letter F for fish pepper. So the fish pepper is a very cool pepper that has an awesome story about, you know, caring for and loving a plant or a pepper so much that you keep it alive for generations. Long story short, this pepper originated in the African-American community centuries ago. It was kind of lost during urbanization of America. Um, one man in particular is credited with keeping it alive, Horace Pippin. He was a painter back in, I think, the 1940s, if I rem remember correctly. Um, he kept this pepper alive. He ended up giving peppers to his friend who was a beekeeper, last name Weaver. I can't remember his first name. I think it might have been Ralph. Fact check me. The Weaver family kept the fish pepper going for generations. And then in 1995, it was given to the uh, Seed Savers Society or Seed Savers Yearbook. I forget exactly what it was, but released to the public through that channel. And since then, it has exploded, right? It's a great pepper, has a cool flavor, but it's beautiful. That's what really sets the fish pepper apart. It's kind of like an edible ornamental. A lot of ornamental peppers, not so tasty. Fish pepper, tasty. So let's take a quick look at my plant just so you can see what I'm talking about. So even early on in the season, you can see plenty of variegation on these leaves. Um, as the plant grows, not every leaf ends up variegated with that white and cream or with as much of it, right? Some of them are mostly green, but the whole plant looks great. It had to come inside towards the end of the season into the garage because it was too cold outside and there were still all these beautiful peppers here trying to ripen. So really striped when they are unripe. As they start to ripen, they kind of lose that striping. And then by the time they're fully ripe, it is actually solid red. So beautiful plant though. So you see all that beautiful variegation on the leaves and on the peppers. They just are so pretty to look at. There's also yellow and orange varieties of the fish pepper um, that have the same kind of beautiful variegation on the leaves and the striping on the pods. So I highly recommend you find a fish pepper that you want to try and grow and just give it a go. Uh, before we cut this open, I think it's time for pepper facts. So this is a capsicum annuum. It is originally thought to be from the Caribbean, though there's a little uncertainty. It might have started in Mexico. Um, brought to America sometime in the last couple hundred years and then really exploded after 1995. The plants grow to about two to three feet tall and they put on these little beautiful peppers that are between one and three inches long typically. The Scoville heat units on these are anywhere from about 5,000 to 30,000 Scoville heat units, so not too much hotter than a jalapeno or a serrano. What's really, really cool about these peppers, I kind of hinted at already, is that they have a traced heritage back to individuals keeping them alive for generations. I think that's awesome and it's kind of what inspires us to be part of a pepper lovers community today. We're all you know, getting to experience new varieties, some of which are very rare, some of which members of our community have created and shared with the rest of us, right? So really cool stuff happening in the pepper lovers community. Fish pepper, I think, embodies that spirit of what we're all about. And with all that said, let's cut it open, take a look inside and have a taste. As always, we're going to go with the venerated one hand chop. Ooh, a little bit off center, but not my worst cut. You can see decently thick walls for that little pepper. Quite a bit of seeds in this example. They're not always like that. Um, again, they can be larger than this. They can actually be smaller than this. A lot of size variety on my plants over the years. But this is a pretty good looking example. Uh, let's give it a taste. Not too dissimilar from jalapeno. I've actually eaten these for an episode of Taste the Pain in the past. Um, maybe twice, now that I think about it. I've also had the yellow fish, maybe that's what it was. So, red fish, 
and yellowfish I've done on Taste the Pain. But for the alphabet of heat, let's see how it tastes. Particularly sweet, up front. Some people claim that these are bitter pepper. I've never really had that experience to a great extent. Like maybe a tiny bit on the finish, but it could be because there's a lot of seeds in them sometimes. And seeds tend to taste bitter. The actual flesh of the pepper, though, to me is always pretty darn sweet. It has a nice kind of um, melony sweetness right up front. A little tiny bit of, I used this before and I don't know a better way to explain it, but like a classic bubblegum flavor as you exhale. Uh, but really, really crisp and refreshing. I don't like fish. So to answer that riddle, the way you get a person who hates seafood to love eating fish, fish peppers. I love eating fish peppers. That's about as close as you're going to get me to saying I love eating seafood. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the Alphabet of Heat. Letter F is done. Next week is letter G. Check out this video up here that YouTube thinks you might like. I always forget what side it's on, so somewhere up here. I will see you again real soon. Lots of stuff happening on the channel, so remember, plants help us grow. Peace.